Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, we gotta talk about this. Really? So, yeah, DC. What did Panda get trying to do? So today, I don't know how long the video is going to go, but we're actually going to have two things, and one of them is going to be much better than the other one. So we're going to have a fan cast for upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog characters that could appear in future films, but first, the video will begin with DC and the airing of grievances. So thank you, Variety Magazine. Corilla, D. Ville, and more for these video clips, these image, images, and these news that Variety Magazine quoted. So a huge shout out to my mom. Happy birthday, mom, today. And today, we just gotta talk about what the heck DC is doing and what kind of a direction that they are going in. So, DC is completely going through an entire reboot. All of the characters, all of the actors, which I will be talking about later on in this video, but so far as we know, James Gunn and Peter Safran have come out and stated that DC is going through an entire reboot and is no longer the DCEU, it's just the DCU, the DC Universe. So, basically, every single character that you know of and every single actor and actress that you've known who's played the characters. Basically, if you're still with DC, forget about it! That's right, basically every single member of DC, preferably the Justice League, Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, they have been confirmed to not be returning as their characters. Because DC says that they want to go for a younger Justice League and have it build up like Marvel, have them their own little stories, and then in the next 10 years, build up to them growing up and joining together, becoming the Justice League. So, I'm really sorry, you guys, but like I said, actors and actresses like Henry Cavill, uh, Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, as Aquaman, there is still a chance that he will be in DC, but not as Aquaman. They are not coming back as their roles. No, 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 no! And for some reason, DC is still going with Ezra Miller, Miller rather, in the Flash film! And on top of that, James Gunn has confirmed that he is working on a new HBO Max series. Now, that's all he said about it, but if you guys want my perspective on it, I bet you that it's a series for Arrow. And I know what you guys are thinking, but Arrow's already got his own series. Well, I mean, hey, DC's doing a reboot of everything, so I might as well do that too. But summarily for you guys, James and Peter are now working on these characters themselves. They have no more people holding them back from their characters and doing what they want for the audience. So, I mean, hey, they are the CEOs. Anything that is with DC now has to go through them and them alone. No more producers holding them back or anything but yeah i mean enough criticism i guess so uh, udc can be anything so let's just uh now head into something simpler but still rather enjoyable i want to do a fan cast for characters from the sonic the hedgehog universe that we could possibly see 
in the future. And I want to start with Sonic's girlfriend, Amy Rose. If you guys have seen previous videos of mine, you would know that it is hinted that Amy Rose could be appearing in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So, she is going to need a voice actor. Now, I personally believe and would love to see Allison Stoner to voice the role of Amy Rose. Because, if you guys have seen the series... Phineas and Ferb, you know that Allison Stoner is famous for playing Isabella. So, I would actually love to see this voice actress play the role of Amy Rose. And of course, no doubt, her have the same voice that she had as Isabella. Hey, Mitch. Let's it was just such a perfect fit. Plus, both of these characters sport the color pink, so can you imagine the memes that would come out of this? Next up, let's head on to Silver. Now, if you guys don't know who Silver is, he is a hedgehog from centuries into the future, and he only travels back into the past to prevent natural disasters and anomalies that destroy his timeline. So, I actually do believe, because of his technology, and I don't really know a lot about the character, but it's just, I strongly believe, and dare to argue, that the man in black, the rock slapper, Will Smith, should play the role of Silver, because he has done voice acting before. He did a great job in DreamWorks' Shark Tale, and I I do believe that his humor could make the character absolutely phenomenal. And again, a huge shout out to my mom for giving me this idea for a fan cast for Will Smith as Silver. And then there's the character Rouge. Some people do believe that the actress who should play this bat should be Zendaya. And I do agree, this would be a great pick it's just i also think that there is another actress out there who could do an evenly great job patricia heaton now if you guys don't know who she is but if you have seen sony's the star you would know that she is famous for playing the voice acting role of edith the cow and i'm hearing the voice and it fits! No sleep at all since that giant nightlight turned on. I personally believe it's a good fit. I mean, that's just me. Then there's Espio. He's a chameleon. He has ninja fighting techniques. But he's very nonchalant. He is very, you know, meh about things. So... Because of how the actor feels about his latest role in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, I personally believe Dave Batista would make a great SPO. Because he definitely has the voice if he's, like, you know, very calm and very low. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. Watch. And that is the type of voice that Espio would have. I mean, it's just great. There are a ton more characters like Mighty, Big the Cat, and a lot of other crazy characters. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be a wrap for today's video. So I hope I've enlightened your spirits with this other half of the video. So... That's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe to the Dragon Clan family to not miss out on my future videos and giveaways. Like this video if you are a fan of these Sonic characters and want to see them in the future. And give a like for, I don't know, your favorite DC actor or something. And share with your friends if you agree with any of these fan choices for these actors. If so... Also, make sure to comment them down below. And comment them down below your questions 
for the Q&A video when I hit 50 subscribers. So if you also know anyone who is a fan of anything Marvel, Star Wars, DC, Transformers, Sonic Mario, Avatar, How to Train Your Dragon, or Alice in Wonderland, make sure to share it to them so we can get to that Q&A video sooner. So, respect for all you guys out there. Peace out.